One of the most misdiagnosed dysrhythmias is atrial flutter with two to one conduction. When atrial flutter occurs at this conduction rate, the ventricular rate is typically around 150 beats per minute, often leading to misdiagnosis, such as sinus tachycardia, or SVT. The key is recognizing the flutter waves, which happen at about 300 beats per minute, creating a challenge in interpretation. Here are 10 key points to identify. Atrial flutter. Be alert to any rhythm around 150 beats per minute. Sinus rhythms fluctuate with activity, whereas reentrant tachycardia maintain a constant rate until they stop suddenly. If there's no obvious cause for sinus tachycardia, such as fever or anxiety, consider atrial flutter. Analyze ECGs methodically, assess P waves, QRS complexes, intervals, and rate to avoid misdiagnosis. A 12-lead ECG provides a better view of flutter waves. Some leads might not show the typical sawtooth pattern, so use as many leads as possible. Longer strips might reveal momentary three-to-one conduction, making flutter waves more apparent. When treating SVT, sometimes adenosine can slow ventricular rate temporarily, uncovering flutter waves. This isn't recommended as a diagnostic tool, but can happen inadvertently. Atrial flutter can present as wide complex tachycardia, especially with hyperkalemia. Look for flutter waves carefully. If a P wave appears midway between two QRS complexes, suspect a hidden P wave in the QRS complexes. Atrial flutter has regular F waves, unlike the irregular F waves of atrial fibrillation. The QRS rhythm in atrial fibrillation is irregularly irregular. Regularly review confirmed two to one conduction strips to train your eye to distinguish between atrial and ventricular activity, making hidden flutter waves stand out. By systematically applying these tips and practicing, you'll enhance your ability to identify atrial flutter with two to one conduction, reducing the chances of misdiagnosis.